If you're an engineering student or a math major and you want to program a complicated formula into your calculator so you will not have to remember the equation every time, this is your video. Today I'm going to teach you how to input formulas into your TI-83 and 84 calculators. I will show you two different examples, the first being the quadratic formula. The second is an interpolation formula used in thermodynamics frequently. First, turn your calculator on. Next, go to Program and go over and select New. Here we will create a new program and we will type in the name. Uh, this can only be eight characters so we'll have to abbreviate quad. The letters are in green above the keys and so just type it in the key below and press enter once you have your name. From here we are going to type in, go down to input, output and go to display and type in quadratic formula, a title. Now you need to put it inside quotation marks in order for it to um, show up as characters. There's a space down here for when you want to put spaces in between your letters. And in with quotation marks and we'll go down with that. And now we're going to put in another display function. So press program, go over to input, output, and go down to display. And within quotation marks, we're going to type in uh, a um, generic um, quadratic formula. So alpha a alpha x squared plus alpha b alpha x plus alpha c inside quotation marks. So we'll press a new line and we'll go to program, select input output, and we will do prompt. Now prompt, and now when we do prompt A, this will show A and will also ask for a value for that A. We're going to do the same thing for B and C, so that way we can put in all the different coefficients. And then we'll have a new line. And now we need to get into the math. So let's do a square root. Okay. Wrong button. Second square root. And we're going to do B squared minus 4 alpha A alpha C. And we're going to store that in alpha D. So that takes what's on the left side and stores it in the location on the right side. And so now that we have this, we're going to type in a negative alpha B um, plus alpha D and we're going to divide that by 2 alpha A and we're going to store this as alpha Y. If you're, fam if you're familiar with the quadratic formula this should seem familiar. And we're going to actually we're going to make that a subtract D from this one. So we're typing in the way to get the two zeros and we're storing these in different locations, Y and Z. And now we're going to display, and we're going to type in zeros. And Z. And that's going to be inside quotation marks, so we see the text. And then we're going to go and put in another display function. And we're going to display Y. And we're going to display alpha C. This should display both of those and we will um, now quit and go to program go down to quad and click execute plus enter so we need to put in the coefficients so do one for A, one for B and negative six for C and the answers should be two and negative three. Now that we're done with a quadratic formula we will move on to the second one which is interpolate so go to program, go over to new, to do a new function, I'm going to do interpol. And select enter. And we're going to type in display alpha y is unknown. So let's do alpha log. inside quotation marks. Now we're going to go to program display and do alpha y 
one. I'm going to do program input alpha a. So it's going to display y1 and ask for value, and it's going to store that a. So now we will do that again, except for y2. And we're going to input that at location B. And we're going to do the same thing for an X1 and an X2. And store these in different locations. And then we are also going to do a display, but we're going to do x known. And we're going to display this. Or are we going to store it? My bad. So we're going to input that at alpha e. Now we need to do the math. So this will be b minus a divided by d minus c. And we're going to store this at alpha m. And then we're going to do a plus alpha m times e minus C. And we're going to store this at alpha y. And then we're going to display y. Oh, we need this in parentheses. So y space unknown. And we're going to display alpha y. So now we should be done. And we're going to try this one. And go to quad. Or we're actually going to go to interpolate. And y1. Let's try 1. And then 3 for y2. And then 4, 6, and 5. And the answer should be 2. Let me see it's if it's good. Keep in mind that any of these steps can be tweaked slightly um, using these basic ideas. You can input any formula you want into your calculator. Hopefully these examples helped. Good luck with all of your projects.